So guys, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently this year. So Team Shu, we're going to do things a little different this year. Shu and I are each going to be coaching a team, and I got you guys. To make things more exciting, I'm here to lead you guys to victory. So our job as coach is going to be to teach you guys sportsmanship, give you some tips on the lanes, make sure you have fun out there, and just lead you guys to victory, okay? My job here is to show you guys how to win at any cost, whether it's distracting your opponents or enrolling you guys in biogenesis. Oh, Dan. All right, guys, hands in, have fun on three. Ready? One, two, three, have fun! Hey, remember the cheer I taught you? One, two, three, cheat! Life is fun, and so is Candlepin Bowling. There have been dozens of bowling shows on TV before, but we're not them, and we don't want to be. Dan, Shu, Gothi are coaches one team of talented kids, and I, Rob Taylor, coach another. We're a different type of show, and we're going to turn your notion of bowling show upside down. We are the new generation. Welcome to Candlepin New Generation, a show where four kids enter with big dreams and four leave with big dreams because this is just a game. I like games. I like games too. He's Dan Gauthier, I'm Rob Taylor, and we have two teams of two kids each challenging each other in ball throwing and pin smashing glory. Dan, who do you got? Oh, Rob, I picked Saze Johnson on Team Shoe. She's going to be leading off for me, Rob. Threatening. She's the only bowler here out of these four bowlers who's been on our show before, other than in a Smoke the Shoe box. She's been on three times, Rob, and she's won our bowling balls like a whopping two times, and she's won uh, the High Low Jack. She's won some $50 first places. She's probably accumulated more money than any other kid in the younger age group. She's got a high single of 129, so take that, Rob. Who's your anchor bowler, Dan? It's got to be some older kid, right? Some grizzly vet? Oh my god, Rob. I predicted the staff predictions that this kid will win it all, and I'm going to be the swami if he does, because it's four-year-old Dominic Ritchie. Four years old? Four years four old. Four years old. And he earned it. There we were can four take competitors that. We can take in him. that age group, and he won first place out of the four. So this wasn't just a win by default. This kid's awesome. His average is in the 70s. I know he went up to Canada recently with his dad, and he hit a 295 for three. So he's going to be looking to repeat that today, Rob. All right, well, I'll call your two gun slingers, and I'll raise you a Willow Baker. Willow Bulls out of Leo Super Bowl in Amesbury. Her favorite food is crab cakes, and she is going to take you down. On the other side, Anthony Callie, who is twice the age of your anchor bowler. Anthony's out of Central Park, 120 high single, and I like his chances on the lane. To give you a little bit more analysis, we're now going to send it over to our expert in child psychology because he is a child, Liam Fitzgerald Ledger. Liam, what's your analysis? I'm going to bet my money on the team that's going to win today, Rob. Gambling's illegal, Liam. Don't condone that. Kids, you can now take your spot on the lane. Willow, go get them. Sage, hope something bad happens to you up there. Hey, hey, hey. Good luck to both of you. Good luck to both of you. Good luck to both of you. Sage, first you go, go get him, Anthony. age you got discrimination, this. and now you're all about anti-Sage. Oh, there's Sage for you. I make fun of her because she's threatening, Dan. Sage that's Johnson right. is a multi-time champion on our show. Last year's champion, she bowled with partner Cole Fry en route to a Division I title. And you're right, she's won so much money that I certainly can't keep it straight. Much better try than your bowler, Rob. <laughs> Willow may be new to the show, but she is a multi-time state champion, someone I've been hoping would get on the show for a long time. She's got a little home house action as she picks up a 5-10. Yeah, fantastic 10, Eat both it. of our girls. Willow Baker's <laughs> coming out firing early. Both of our girls throwing some great 10s right off the bat. Willow's favorite movie is Epic. I don't know what that is, but I hope she bowls epically today. Sage yeah. those just off the head. Well, pin. Sage's favorite movie is Monster University, Rob. That's She's going to bowl like a monster today. Sage is a nice spare leaf here if she can put it on that head pin. A little off, just misses. Oh, almost. Willow's looking to get her ball to cut in. See, her, her partner Dominic uh, was trying to give his body English there to help out Sage's ball. He practically ended up upside down. Dom may be on your team, but he's going to be a treat to watch. I know I'm going to enjoy watching this young gun. It looks like he's definitely got a bright future in the game. If he's on at four, he can r rival Hunter's seven-time championship. Dan, uh, you're trying to put in the score over here. I was just trying to here. put you're the score in on a lane that was turned off, Pressing Rob. the wrong buttons. That's how into my team I am. <laughs> Early three pin lead by Sage on Team Shoe. Sage is on that head pin. Willow looks like she's found it again, a little off. What do you think of that wood, there? Rob, for Sage? Think it'll carry all the way into the ten she's if she plays? She's got to be on the tip of it, right? Although her ball is slow enough, something could kick off the wall. Just misses. Give her credit for going for the edge of the wood. We've had a lot of turnover in this age group, Robbie, from uh, last year. Yeah, Nate and Cole Fry are, of course, the big names who graduated. But a lot of other boys who are right on the fringe, like Kyle McCarthy, moved up. Uh, John O'Brien moved up. 
Well, I think it's awesome that even though we lost some supreme talent, some once in a generation talent, it's still super competitive. I think we're going to see a really tight match. And we, we've already seen our first ever four year old make the show. We could see our first ever four year old make it to Nesson. It That's be pretty cool. exciting to me. It would be extremely cool. Sage is trying to help him out. And she's leaving the 9 10. That's going to be tough. Where are you telling her to play it, Dan? Uh, I think if she hits that wood, um, her ball could carry both of the pins. Might bounce right over. Yeah. Goes for the pin. Willow is on the wood. Cleans it up. That's so a tough leave on 22 right there. If she can get a 9, I would be very happy with it. Slides it in there. We'll take an 8. Nice 8 for Willow Baker. An early lead for Sage Johnson. Both of our ladies looking for their first mark of the day. Willow tossed a 267 in the qualifying round. Sage tossed a 295. So Sage, she just has a way of stepping it up at these tournaments. You're lucky you landed her on her team because she just has a way of finding it. Yeah, it was all luck, Rob. <laughs> you let me pick first and... Ah, I was around. Go for the pedigree. Helping Liam through his sideline hits, and you're over there stealing my team. Little pedigree, three-time right. champ, and then I go for the uh, for the last name and Richie over there. And his father, oh. Mark, is a pretty accomplished bowler. Whenever you've got some a of Richie that rubbed on your off, team. hopefully, on Dominic. Willow looking for the out. Will that ball cut over? Just misses. So a seven out for Willow. 46 to 38 at the half as our gentlemen take the lane. Eight pin difference right now. In <laughs> Robbie, favor of Dominic Richie. <laughs> I find nice I, I hope the cameras right are aimed low enough to capture Dominic. <laughs> We're going to give John a run for his money today. Dom's first ball of his candle pin new generation career is a half A <laughs> lot of good body English there, though. He gives a stare to his opponent. Yeah, Dominic, I think that was an angry stare. Thin, but I like that. Had Dom's to be an, leaving the one, too. Angry Anthony stare rather. at his opponent for stealing all those pins, Rob. Anthony's looking at the one, two, looking for the spare. Ooh, Dominic goes through that gap. Anthony picks up the spare. That's Lucky. the first mark of the season on Candlepin New Generation. No mercy, Anthony. Keep it up. A little arm pump for Dominic. Tough three for Dominic. We know he's going to bounce back. Tough break for Dominic. He, uh, I will say that that's the first three box he's thrown on a three strings. His lowest box before that was probably a five. So This Dominic fellow is threatening, Dan. I don't like the look in his eyes. Well, you know, that mark for Anthony pretty much ties up the mask just about now. It does. Anthony now looking for the gravy. <laughs> a little arm pump again. And he stares down his Ooh, opponent. Just off. He stared him into a one fill. <laughs> one fill for Anthony. Both of our bullies looking to find that head pin. Just for those bullers who don't know, Dominic threw all, like, all games in the 80s in tryouts. So he's struggling a little now, but he's very, very capable of throwing big boxes. A little nerves. He's up there with his idols. He's been telling us all about some of the old historic matches we've had today. He's yep. been talking to us. Dom looks back to his father, twists his wrist, says he knows what he's doing. Yep. I got this, Dad. Yep. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> well, he'll take advice. Team Shoe, don't worry. Captain Team Shoe's going to go advice. down there between halves. We're going to give a little pep talk to Dominic. He's going to carry us, man. Uh-oh. Dom's veering a little left again. Anthony looking to continue to apply a little pressure. Kick them while they're down. The lights are bright up there. That can be distracting, too. Anthony's off the head, but he does have the working ball here. Oh, he's Alex got the arm closer. pump. I love it. That's pretty locked in, too. He's got that wood in the back. That could be a nice out. He's going to have to move his ball to the right, though. He's been off left a little. Everything's turning his wrist. Anthony looking for another mark. He's on it. He's and got he takes it. it. Nice shot by Anthony Talley. Hey, he's smiling at Dominic. <laughs> Dominic just waves his <laughs> hand. that one away. What is it? <laughs> Meanwhile, I think Sage right now is saying, all right, second place is looking good. I'll just win 50 next time. <laughs> That's what Sage does. Sage she takes does. us she... for cash. That's right. She'll win every time. I wouldn't rule your team out, though, Dan. Sage oh, no, can I'm get hot with the best out. of them. Two, three, four. It's just it's funny. It definitely is. Ah, Dominic might have just found it. Anthony just off the head pin. Tough three, Phil. Dominic's running over to lane 24 for the body English Yeah, he, does a, he has a big draw with his body English. Now he's staring his opponent down a little, taking a deep breath. Both hands on the ball. And he's trying to stay in the groove here. There it comes. There it is. Anthony breaks oh. into that pocket. Anthony looking for another mark. Great bid. Dominic Great. leaves the reverse spread eagle <laughs> after Impressive. two balls. Yeah, you want to hit the button there because he's not used to having six down after two balls. He's going for more. It's a good out. Very nice out. Nice seven good for seven. Dominic. Anthony picks up the 10. Anthony's doing a nice work here other than that six bucks. He's cleaning his deck. One yeah. more box to go for a young gentleman. 
I think the thing with uh, Dominic being four years old is he's trying, he's been bowling for a year or so, but he's trying to remember so many different things when he's up there now. He's not just bowling, he's trying to remember throw the ball first, not distract his opponent. He's, he's got a million things going through his head. He's not just trying to hit the head pin. I think once he's got his first half out of the way, oh, he's yeah. going to be. I'm proud of what he's doing. Everybody should be proud of him. He made it on. I mean, he made it on with a fantastic score. He came in first place. Yeah, what did he throw anyway? 248 was 248 it? 248's his high triple. I, but I think uh, he hit right today? around there today. Oh, he hit his high triple today. Was Actually, I think he hit 295 up in Canada a couple weeks oh, wow. ago, so he probably forgot about that one. Oh, that's away from Dominic, but that's all right. He's going to reset during the halfway point. Anthony picks up a nine. So Willow Baker and Anthony Talley have a small lead. <laughs> Join us after Smoke the Shoe segment where Shoe looks to take down a child. And here we go on Smoke the Shoe where Allison Whitelaw looks to take down the evil Dan Gauthier. Allison Whitelaw, you were one of the most average bowlers we had at our tournament today. Did you have a fun day at the tournament? How are you bowling? Good. Pretty good? Do you think, what is it going to take to take down Shoe? Just no mercy and smiles. Yeah. All right, she's giving, she's hitting you with no mercy and smiles. I hear you're trying to hit her with a strike for someone. Yeah, uh, my favorite uh, Canadian friend Austin Carr told me I'm supposed to throw a strike for him today, so I'm going to be trying to do that. All right, well, hope he doesn't let you down, Austin. Allison, I hope you don't let me down. Go get him up there. She's bowling for a chance to win bowling balls and go on Nesson. So good luck, Allison. Go get him. A friendly handshake from Dan Gauthier. Who do you like in this matchup, my friend? You're in for your sister? What is uh what do you think it's gonna take for her to beat you? How's she been bowling so far today? Good. Pretty good? You like her chances? Yes. Man a few words, I like that. Simplicity. It works well for the show. So Shu right now has got six. Allison has one. Shu gets nine. Allison's on the head pin. Still tumbling. She's gonna have a shot. Ties are gonna go to the kit. Remember, if Allison can take down Shu, she'll earn herself a shot on Nesson in our Beat the Pro segments. Shu just has to get that head pin. And he's off. Allison with a chance to take him down. She's going for the one pin, and she gets the tie. So Allison earns herself a Nesson berth. She smokes the shoe. We'll be back with the rest of our match. The second string is brought to you by ICBA-sanctioned Bogey Lanes. Go to bogeylanes.com to find out where the fun is. They are an official center of the new generation. <laughs> 25 pins is the difference right now. We're going to send it over to Liam Fitzgerald-Ledger with some analysis. I don't know how the match is going, Bob, but I do know that the Tony G's pizza is delicious. Uh, when do we get our pizza, Rob? Later, Dan. Ladies, take your spot up there. That pizza looked good. That's insightful commentary. Liam. Liam knows what to pay attention to. He's doing a great job out there. I taught us. him well. So Willow's going to throw the first ball with a 25-pin lead. Rob, Team Shoe may be down, but we've got some stuff up our sleeve. I saw that air horn earlier, Dan, and yeah. I'm not going to allow it. There's nothing in the rules. ICBA rules specifically state no air horns. Uh, I'll have a talk with Danny Murphy about that. Sage is right in that pocket. Yeah! Oh! Wait, show that on replay. What happened to that 10 pin? Ah, you hate to see that. He's doing. doing a good job chipping away. Breathing a sigh of relief. We try to keep this big lead here. Well, Sage is all over it. Great box. That's a heck of a 10. That ball hugged the edge of the gutter all the way down. I'm going to take some notes because... I have a hard time making that pin. So Willow Baker is a l 10 years old this year. She's won the state several times. We have her eye on her every year as she's winning all these state titles. Oh. Finally made the show. And now oh. trying to take down a fellow lane maid in Sage. Willow's ball breaks into the head pin. I think some of the viewers have noticed my insightful grunting as color commentary. That was from Sage's first ball. She crushed it and left a tough leave. I thought you were still moaning about not having the pizza. Yeah, it's a little of both. Pair eights up there. Willow's going to be content to knock another box off the match. That's all right. We've got Dominic focusing in the back, gathering his thoughts. The anchor man. Willow's got an 87 average. He's a little under that right now. This is her candle pin new generation debut. Would love to see her get her first mark under her belt. No, it's not his turn yet, but I'm just noticing uh, Dominic's shirt, it almost goes down to his knees. It's a beautiful shot, by the way. Per 
perfect shot by Willow Baker for Team Rob. Trying to put a little space between her, her and Sage right now. All these bowlers have some really nice shirts. The two girls up there now with some really nice Leo Super Bowl shirts. Central Park's had a nice shirt for a long time. And Riverwalk Lanes, that's the first time for us to see them, Rob. That's right, a new house. Well, a renovated house out in Amesbury, formerly Lafayette, taken over by Mark Ritchie and yeah. friends, and they're doing a great thing so for the Dominique's game. Dad, Dominic's dad is uh, working and owning that house. As Willow goes for two in a row, tough break. It's a nice place. My protein bowl is there on Friday night, and uh, for, for those in the Amesbury area, it's really nice to get out there and patronize that house. Yeah, two great houses here in it's the It's not Amesbury expensive area. either. They have a lot of promotions. And it's, it's just great to see a bowling center owned by... A bowler, one of really a younger member. A lot of the owners are older. It's nice to see them trying to implement some new ideas in an old-fashioned establishment and and hopefully draw some good business. And speaking of nice bowling centers, we're here at Leo's today. It's one of the prettiest bowling centers I've seen. I, I love the pictures and what they've done with the walls. We were walking over and getting some pizza earlier, to going through the arcade. It's a gorgeous arcade. It's got everything you could want for a family to come down here. Yeah, the lanes are great, Parties. the pin action's good, we've had a lot of high scores yeah. here, but it doesn't seem like a fake good. You know, some bowling centers, No, there's no silicone, really nothing slide sliding, around. these just pins naturally lively and bouncy. And it makes it fun to watch. Yep. So Willow Baker finishes at 91, a great string by Willow. Yeah, she came back and pulled ahead of Sage there in the second and half. And Sage finishes with an 88. <laughs> Not her best. All right, so Dominic's got to make up, again. you know what, 33, well, 34, 35, 30, 36, 37 pins. That's nothing. That's nothing for Dominic. If he does it, this crowd is going to be electric. There's nothing. Anthony Catley throwing the first ball here. First bowler to have shoes that are less than a size one. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He's figured it out. A little arm pump there. Nice little ball on 22. His head. He's got a nice little Can-Am uh, pin on he's wearing. I see that. Anthony gonna look for the out. Anthony's got a nice string here going. This 49 has a chance, fifth. Robbie. Oh, Ooh, great bid. One thing he never has to work on because he's got it down cold is the arm motion, the English, and the and the arm pumps. That's something that takes years to perfect, too. Really. He's gotta wait till the big kindergarten though, so he can start counting up to three for three balls, because <laughs> he has to look back for guidance at every time. Am I done? Am I done? <laughs> I think in a few years we're gonna be looking back at this footage and. Enjoying that we got yeah. to see a young bowling stud. I think we'll be able to pull it age. up probably when he's 13 or 14 and it's gonna be one thirty really cool to watch. We'll be able to pull it up and say this is how we got to start. I it's couldn't. Sorry. No, no. I you said can. I couldn't have been more impressed with the way he qualified. I think you're seeing some of it now. He had a lot of these balls right on the head pin. Saw him throw a spare thumb to a lot of 80 games and beat everybody twice his size. It was amazing. <laughs> Anthony looking for a mark here. He's on it. Ooh, that no was luck. A nice by shot, by Anthony. Great bid. Yeah, go to the this right. Go to the right. A go little. to the right. Oh. <laughs> if willpower was enough, he'd be at about 80 in the ball right now. I love the looks he gives. He's a good interview too. So we're looking forward to talking to him later. <laughs> he has a grouchy face. He is a, one of our biggest fans of our show, Rob. He can recite key moments from in show history, and I think it's pretty cool to get him on. What do you get, nine? Anthony? <laughs> Big smile for everybody behind. Anthony right now, looking for another mark right. to try to get up to 100. Here's a chance to win a box right here. What a ball. What a ball for my guy. Look at this. Oh, it's a hammer. They're tumbling. Whoa. Got to like that. He be rolling. <laughs> Anthony now, though the match is almost out of reach, they still have something to bowl for in terms of seating in the Tournament of Champions. Look at your team stealing pins, Rob. My team's about to earn a spare. Look at this. Will it hang, hang on? on? Hang oh. on. Oh. Just so fell close. off the lane. He's looking back. Was that on? <laughs> Bowler's tall, man. You want to call it, Shoe? We're going to give this one to you, Rob. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna let this one stay in eight. Two boxes remain for our young gentleman. Not a close time. That was so close to being his first spare on TV. He's anxious too. Itching to go too. Who can blame him after that first ball? He's saying, "I'm in his own now." He says, "I just smacked the pocket." Give me another string. One more string, and he'd be a terror up there. Anthony Callie's a terror right now, all over that head. Nothing to show for. That's why. That's why Dominic had a rough first half. It was the lanes. It wasn't him. Now you guys are experiencing that tough lane 23. We're gonna we're gonna clean this up here on 22. 
and he's giving it a nice bid. Dominic's rooting for Anthony back there. I you know, I saw that. that. I saw That's him. awesome. I saw him try to root for that. He's just looking for big scores right now. Yep, big scores anywhere. Anthony looking for two. His team's going to be right around that 180 mark, a little over. If he could get a mark, they could get up to 200, which would put them in fantastic shape in the Tournament of Champions. The highest seeded team earns a buy in that tournament, so that's enormous. <laughs> Stinka. <laughs> You know what I, I didn't think of until uh, until now is I think one of the things that uh, Dominic is facing is literally his hands are so small that the more strings he bowls, it's harder not to turn your wrist over, I think, and like he's doing now. Whereas earlier today, his wrist That's was true. a little stronger and he was able to keep it straighter. Yeah, game four, you'd have to think he'd be a little yeah. tired. Anthony, on the other hand, staring at just That's the 10 pin, ball. looking for a mark. He's getting some tumbling here. A lot of wood. I'd like to see both bowlers end this thing with a mark. I would love to see it. Anthony just off that single. So another chance here for Dom. He's going low. He's going low. Oh. <laughs> Good thing Anthony wasn't bowling or else he'd have had a collision. I <laughs> think he threw the ball probably in the only square inch of the lane that's not the gutter that didn't have a piece of wood. <laughs> Looking for the 10. If it hangs on. Oh, nice a good by Dom. So Willow Baker and Anthony Cali take the W with a 184. Up next in the gutter. What do you like about it most so far? Like full win. I think I'm gonna do better than I have been doing. But I've never been here before, and the first lane I bowled on, it was very slick. It was like sliding on ice. And Devin, what did you get in the first string? I guess it was a long time ago. It's a long time ago. These kids have tough memories, you know? High low jack time. Willow Baker is up first. Good luck, Willow. She's won the match. She's guaranteed herself a television burst. All that's left is to take home some dough. Yeah, I should have mentioned, Rob. I don't know if we have... Uh, the gift card's in the budget yet for <laughs> if they make it. Give it a shot. Oh, just off. I oh. definitely don't have the fight though. I give the cards for Dunkin' Donuts, so they may have to be <laughs> IOU if they uh, if they make it for tens. And any potential sponsors? Five dollar gift cards by you. Plug your That's name true. several times. There you go. Doesn't cost much to be a five dollar sponsor, right? That's true. Willow Baker, no luck. She could leave him up there, or she can reset it to get her work done. She won't. Nice drive by her. Now yeah, it's Sage Johnson's turn. Sage is convinced she can't do it. Because based on last year, we never really know what's in the next rack, so she might as well leave it up. That's true. That's true. We need to get a... Sage, Sage is fearing a little left. Sage has made this shot at least once before. Maybe yeah. twice? I think it, yeah. I think twice. I think twice, maybe not on the first ball, but she's made it several times. Sage's ball's breaking in just off. Now we had a quote that I'm going to share when we get to the boys. Can't wait to give this one. We interviewed him a little bit, asked him what they thought about making this shot. Sage mentioned that she's very excited for the next stop. And we know you'll see her again. Yep. Anthony's turn. Anthony first. Anthony's Anthony Callie's up first. We'll do our champions first. Runners Dominic's up second. Anxious. He's anxious because he knows he can win big here. This is his chance. This type of shot. He throws oh, yeah. it slow enough. Slow ball. The head pin might come yep. off the wall. Who knows? Anthony's gonna have to go down like lightning here. That's a big hook though. I mean, that could help. It's got a shot. Ooh, a little full. Nice bit. Uh, luckily for us, Rob, it's hard to pick up the it's seven. Gonna and be then this the ten it's going to be tough. <laughs> to save our show five dollars. Anthony lines them up. Uh oh, Ooh, uh -oh. nice bit. I saw this game the other week at the uh, the Pro Series stuff. Yeah, I know. That was crazy. I saw that too. Right, this, the good news is this ball hooks right to left. So this, this is going to be tough this is a tough pin. This is a tough pin. This Come is on, a tough pin. Stick it in channel space. pins. Stick New it generation in space. Dust off. All right, now All on right. left is Dominic Ritchie. Here we go. Go get him, Dominic. I talked to Dominic about this shot, Rob, and you know what he said? What did he say, Dad? I need woodses. Woodses across the whole alley. <laughs> I think we could all use a little more woodses. <laughs> go get him, Dom. <laughs> He's waiting for his woodses. He needs a little crowd support. Oh. <laughs> no hook. Can you get one? Oh, get one. keep going. Two more tries. Two more shots of this. <laughs> Yeah. Looking to get it to break in, he's getting, getting closer. closer. Getting closer. Give him the fist bump. One more try. I think Dominic is the first kid who, when we asked him to list their school, he was able to put not yet. <laughs> not yet. 
Just oh. off. Nice drive by Dominic Ritchie. We're going to go back. Shu's going to talk to his team. I'll talk to mine. Hi, this is Shu. Welcome back to Canopin New Generation. I'm with Team Shu. I'm with Sage and Dominic. Sage, let me start with you. Uh, you've been on our show at least three times, right? So you're used to this. Yes. Now, do you have any idea how much money you might have won in gift cards total? Here's another 25. I'm wondering if you've kept track of how much you've taken from our show over the last few years. $250. Oh my gosh, that's enough for like a scholarship. I could pay for books for one semester of college, right? No. <laughs> so you're going to come back and uh, you said you're going to come back and try out with the adults and the adult youth one that we have in October, right? Yep. All right, so we'll look forward to seeing you there. Uh, Dominic, your first ever show. You, you watch our show on TV all the time, right? Yep. What's your favorite episode? Do you have one? Yes. Who was on it? Do you remember? Me. Me. You? You're, you're your favorite episode. This is going to be your favorite episode right here, right? Yeah. All right. Here's $25. Thank you. You did so good today. That was the best I've seen you bowl. And uh, yeah, maybe ran out of gas a little bit on TV though, right? Is it hard on TV? Yep. Is it scary? No. No, it's not scary. I'll get it next time. I believe it. All right, we're going to turn it over to Robbie now and let him talk to the winners. Robbie, congratulations. You deserved it. You guys earned the victory. You were very cordial. You were very good bowlers. Oh, that's really nice of you, Dan. I didn't really expect that. Well, guys, congratulations. Here are your gift cards. We're going to start. Dan, 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 Dan. Sorry, Rob. Thanks, Dan. We're going to start with Willow. Willow, this is your first time on the show. What was it like out there? It was pretty cool. Did you feel good up there? It looked like you were really getting the handle on it in the second half. Was there anything different? Um, no. I just felt a groove. What was it like bowling against your, uh, your friend Sage? It actually felt pretty it's normal. It'll take us a while to do it. You won't have it's like a normal youth league? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Enjoy the gift card. We're going to see you in the spring, and I can't wait for it. You guys are going to represent me well. Anthony, you were awesome out there, too. What was it like bowling... Dominic out there. He's, what's it like bowling against someone you know the whole crowd's rooting for him? Well, it was funny kind of bowling against a four-year-old. He kept on looking back at me every time I hit a bend. He would look back at me and smile. You handled it pretty well, I thought. Yeah, it was funny though. What was it like? This is your first time actually bowling in a match on the show. What was it like for you? It was kind of awesome. See, seeing my cousin bowl last year, um, I didn't really know what to expect this year. Well, so. you did great, and now we're going to see both of you guys on the show in the spring. I can't wait for it. You guys represented me well, so congratulations. Can't wait to see you guys in the spring. We hope we'll see you guys for our next episode. On behalf of the entire Candlepin New Generation staff, thanks for watching, everybody.